Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, I'm back just giving you a quick update on my team and how to make some coins. Um, you see here, I upgraded this team about um, two, three weeks ago, and I have Breeze at my quarterback. Braxton Miller is the backup just for speed purposes in case I ever need it, which I pretty much never do. I just have him there because I got him off a of solo. Uh, T. Hill is the running back. The only reason he's there is for the route running. You see I have him as a route runner. Uh, Dallas Clark is a route runner. Um, and then the Parker is also for the route running purposes. And then Keenan Allen on defense has route running. So I had the route running maxed out. And that gives Dallas Clark 96 route running. Uh, and then, you know, the, the T Hill at halfback, uh, whenever in, you're in the jumbo heavy or want to put him out on a route, you know, he's pretty good in the uh, running back to have in the backfield because he's really a receiver. So he has higher route running than most running backs. At the two receivers that I mainly use are the Alshon Jeffrey and the Eric Decker. Um, they both have good strength and run block, and they have good catching traffic uh, and catching with spec. Um, I mainly run the jumbo scheme heavy, uh, sorry, the jumbo heavy. So when I go to the wide receiver package, um, those are the two guys that I want in. And then on the offensive line, you see I have a secure uh, pass protector at the left tackle. I hope that they release an entire line with secure passers, then I would definitely uh, get that. Except at the left guard, I'm going to keep the Bruce Matthews because of the identifier. Uh, helps me see where the user is on defense, uh, especially out of the jumbo scheme heavy it really helps because I can pick what side I want because if they're using the left I just go the opposite way and vice versa and then the two tight ends I use are Dallas Clark and um, Jordan Reed um, I'm not sure if I said it before but I'd substitute uh, Derrick Henry in for that T Hill um, in the jumbo heavy scheme or anything when the game starts I sub him in because he's a uh, battle ready back and they're a lot better this year than any other type of back in Madden 17. Now on the defensive side of the ball, you see we have two great corners. Fast um, is the main thing that they have. Uh, the Jalen Ramsey is a big hitter. Uh, the Jay Taylor is a great speed and zone defender. Uh, like I said before, the Keenan Allen is mainly only for his route running to put on the offense. Whenever I get a times two route runner like Ed McCaffrey or Antonio Brown, I'll probably get a new free safety. Uh, the strong safety Harmon is pretty good. I mean, he's got high zone coverage and good speed. So I like my, and I play a lot of cover too. Um, so that, that works great with the two high safeties and the big hitters and um, great zone underneath at the corners. And then the Gilmore, he's really good as well, but he's mainly used for the lockdown. So it gives the Ramsey, uh, Taylor, and Harmon all a boost in zone coverage. At D-line, you see we have Clemens, Bennett, and Beasley. Those are the main three players that I use. If I want a four-down lineman like a nickel or in the big dime, I will drop Vaughn Miller down. The Clemens, Bennett, and Beasley all have, I believe, 95 or 96 plus finesse move. Uh, and then the Beasley gives plus two finesse move. So they're the highest that I can get with strength, block shed, and finesse move combination. So that's the reason I use those. And then you see at the right outside linebacker, I have Anthony Barr for a user because he's six foot five. And then the middle linebacker is Leonard Floyd for a user uh, who's six foot six. So depending on which side the strength of the formation on offense is, I'll just use the uh, opposite guy um, of the setup. So if I want to send, uh, you know, man up Barr, I'll use her, uh, Floyd and vice versa for uh, manning up Floyd and using Barr. So those are my main two users. I would like to get the uh, upgraded Anthony Barr, but I'm waiting for his price to drop. This Anthony Barr works fine for me, even though he's only an 83 gold. But from experience, I can tell you that you definitely want someone who's six foot five or higher. That's why I like Leonard Floyd so much because he's six foot six fast and he's able to uh, get all the great animations that you want as a user. And like I said, with Von Miller, I actually drop him down because I'll put Beasley at the D tackle to number two. And I put Vaughn Miller at the left end, and that's what I use as my D-line there. They're great in the run game and in the pass game. So that's what makes um, this so great is because I have the entire D-line with 95, 96, 97, something like that, 
finesse move, strength, and block shed. So there's great uh, across the line in the run game and the pass game. You could do uh, whatever you want with Vic Beasley, Vaughn Miller, uh, Clemens, and Bennett because they all have pretty good speed as well at the defensive line position. Now on to making coins. Uh, you see I'm actually an all Madden first string. Um, you want to be able to win a lot of games and especially Super Bowls. Um, I was at about a million coins or so before I upgraded my team and it cost me about 300k, uh, 350k, something like that to upgrade because I, I was starting to struggle with some of the, the, uh, the offenses because their players were just better than mine. So I just wanted to upgrade that. Like I said, cost about 350k, um, but I'm actually back up to 950, 7,000 coins uh, within a, a couple of weeks just by playing games. I haven't played solos since the beginning of Madden. And that's just because I don't have the time to do solos because I really just want to play people because like I said, I like to beat uh, a person instead of a computer. It's more filling. It's it's a lot better because I'm bettering you instead of a computer. Um, but you see, if you're, if you're in all Madden first string like I am, uh, if you get seven wins, you get five competitive badges, which go for... Um, they go for 1,500 coins each, and you get five of them. So if you do 1,500 times five, you get 7,500 additional coins plus the 6,000 uh, coins for getting seven wins. And then if you go to the division goals and you win the playoffs and the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl, I believe, is 12,000 coins, and then the division can get up to like 10 uh, or 8,000 coins, something like that. So no matter what bracket you're in, you can always you know just win games consistently and it'll uh, just consti continuously uh, gain build up your coins. If you, if you do it per game, I believe you get 2,000 coins per game. Um, so if you don't like grinding the solos, uh, you could, like I said, play head-to-head head -head online and win games that way, and you could get your coin game up really fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the team update and how to make coins if you do not want to play solos. Um, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. And if you'd like to become a patron for all the best schemes, weekly tips, and the best content in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.